Alright, this is my the first look at the Nootropic Mind Lab Pro. This is a really important one. You know, I've been really excited about this for a while because for the longest time I would use things like OptiNeuro or, you know, caffeine based nootropics. And while they worked, they just they lacked something, you know, they kept me focused for a while, but then there was always that sort of crash and I, I, there was always that guilt of, you know, using caffeine, which I know is addictive. Um, I know it sort of abuses the dopamine reward pathway in your brain and it, you know it does make you focus but it's just not I wanted something more natural and that's why I was really really excited about uh, Mind Lab Pro this is this is a completely natural supplement uh, nootropic you know I'm not going to go into the ingredients too far but if you want to pause the video if you want to pause the video you can see the ingredients and the you know the dosages here um but yeah, this is a really, if you've seen their website, this is a really exciting nootropic. This is uh, something I've been waiting a long time to, t to try out. So this is just going to be the unboxing. Um, I haven't actually tried it yet. And so what I'm going to do is unbox it here and then save this clip and then obviously talk about my experiences after I've used this supplement or this nootropic for about a month. So this is what you get in the box. You get pretty simple, a nice sealed bottle of Mind Lab Pro. Now this is actually the 60 capsules uh, bottle. You can get a different one, you can get like a three month supply, but on the website there was no discount for ordering three months as opposed to just one month. So I thought I'd just try it out for one uh, one month. They actually say that you should use, um, that you should take two to four capsules uh, per day. Now these are quite big capsules by the, you know, by the sound of this and the weight and everything. So I'm probably just going to start with one capsule a day and just see how I feel. That's what I always try with these nootropics. And then if if I'm not really feeling any effects or if I feel like it needs a boost, then obviously by all means, I'll switch to doing two capsules or more a day. But yeah, we're gonna start with one capsule a day. As you can see, this is unopened, so I haven't tried it yet. But the next video or the next clip you see will be after you know a week, two weeks, three weeks, and then four weeks of me actually using this every day uh, for the next month. All right guys, so as you can probably hear, it sounds like there's a bit Sounds like there's a bit less tablets in here. There's, there's a few less tablets in here. That's because I've been trying these for about a week now. I've had about five or six. I don't, I don't have them every day. Um, as with any nootropic, I try and try and cycle them. So what I'll do is I'll have like five days, Monday to Friday, where I take a nootropic every day, and then I'll take the weekend off, and then hit it again on Monday. So and you can also cycle in in a slightly different way. Like you could do three weeks of a month off. Or three weeks of a month on, I should say, and then one week off. Or you could do five days with a week off on, and then two days off. There's different ways of cycling. I find that the um, when you do it like five days and then two days off, that seems to work the best, just because it gives you like it gives you the short term benefits every week, um, but it also allows your body to sort of not build up a tolerance to the nootropic and makes it more effective when you come back again with it on Monday. Firstly, I, I just wanna, I didn't show you in the uh, in the last sort of section of this, I didn't show you the actual capsules themselves. So the capsules look like this. The capsules look like this and they're, um, they are pretty easy to swallow, like compared to some other ones, they're obviously coated. Um, you know, they're not, they're not huge. They're not huge, they're fairly easy to, uh, to swallow. What I would advise to do is to take them with like some, some juice or a smoothie or something just because it's easier to swallow a tablet with liquid if you enjoy the liquid. There's, you know, water's quite bland, um, so with water you're more likely to sort of have a difficult time swallowing these, but you know, that's just me, that goes with any pills or nootropics or vitamins or whatever. First first impressions, this is really good. Now obviously you, you were sort of expecting me to say that because this is a really uh, prolific nootropic, this has been advertised a lot and this is also, a lot of research has gone into this, you know, these are not cheap ingredients and this is not a cheap supplement to buy. Um, it is considered one of the top five nootropics in the world, if not the, you know, the number one, um, because it doesn't rely on caffeine. And a lot of nootropics these days, they heavily rely on caffeine, which is very bad for your dopamine reward system, it's bad for your brain chemistry, and like, in terms of long-term benefits, they're gonna start to taper off really quickly if it's based in, if it's based in caffeine, and that's how, you, how it gives you that energetic boost. The long-term effects are not gonna last long, you know, it's gonna taper off, you're gonna, hit some pretty bad, um, some bad side effects down the road. This is different because it doesn't use caffeine. It actually uses a blend of all sorts of ingredients, which I'll, you can, I'll, there'll be a link in the description, you can click it and you can see exactly how it works and what it's used for. But if you're watching this video, and there are lots of you who will be watching this, you'll be seeing me show you this, uh, this you'll be seeing me show you this bottle of supplements and you'll be wondering why is he, why is he telling me about this? What is the point of nootropics or 
you know, what benefit is there to this to this entire industry now of, of supplements called nootropics? Well, a nootropic is a smart drug, so it's designed to improve your brain function in some way. They're usually aimed only at brain function and like your mental power, but they can have other side effects as well. You can get a, a sort of physical increase as well, but not much, okay? So the exception to this, the one that sort of blends the line between physical uh, performance boosters and uh, a nootropic is something like creatine because there's a lot of research that's gone into creatine it's been shown to not only give you a physical boost if you use it properly but also a mental boost so but this isn't like that this is you know, mind lab pro this is not going to give you a physical boost as such it's really just for mental cognitive boosts so it really does do that quite well and the reason it does that is because as i said it doesn't rely on caffeine so there's no side effects there's no like come down there's no crash there's no uh, there's no spike as such. It sort of builds up to a point and then stays there and slowly tapers off over the, the course of say six or six or eight hours uh, during the day. This would be a very boring video if I just went over the ingredients and explained exactly how they work because their sales page does that very well. You can go on their website, as I said, link in the description. You can read very easily and you can see studies they've, uh, alongside each ingredient they've included in this supplement, they've given a study showing exactly how and why it works and exactly how much better it performs than a placebo. That's very honest and transparent, and I feel like a lot of supplement companies and, and nootropic companies, they don't do that. They just show something, you know, include it, they include an ingredient just because it's very cheap, it's easy to put on the label, and it's easy to say, this might have an increase in cognitive function. This might give you a mental clarity boost. But really, there's nothing to back it up. It's just all based on very, very loosely done studies, which are outdated at best. Whereas with this, they've given you recent studies. They've given you lots of information and data to back up what they're saying. And there's no ingredient in MindLab Pro that doesn't need to be there. Okay, they're all very, they're all very prolific, they're all very important, and each ingredient does something, whether it's improving your cognitive function or your ability to articulate thoughts. Whatever it is, the ingredients are all there for a reason, and you can see clearly on their website page why the ingredients are there and what they're gonna do for you. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the ingredients. That You can see that on the site. What I am going to talk about is how I felt. So within within about 20 minutes of taking the first tablet, the first supplement, I did feel it sort of come on, but it wasn't the same intense rush you would get from something caffeine derived, meaning you don't get that sort of buzzy, tingly feeling that you would with a caffeine supplement, or if you just had a coffee, for example. It's more of a sort of an inner mental energy, like a deep energy that's coming from within you as opposed to something that you feel through your veins. Like So with a caffeine supplement you very much tend to feel it in your veins and it sort of gives you that whole body buzz that you're quite familiar with if you're a coffee drinker. This isn't like that, it's a, it's a much more clean, it's a much more of a clean effect that you don't feel at all like worried that you're gonna crash you just feel like you're very much awake imagine like your very best day you know a day where you've woken up you've slept well you feel really refreshed you feel mentally active and, and clear and able to do things imagine that but just amplified a bit and maybe that's not even doing it justice because it is a lot better than that but it doesn't feel like a messy sort of clarity that you'd get from caffeine where you might be sort of more mentally focused but you're jittery you know, you're, you have a one-track mind in terms of you're focused on something, but then you can't see the bigger picture sometimes. With these caffeine-based nootropics, you, you tend to get sort of tunnel vision. And it might be good for doing something monotonous or something like, I don't know, something where you need to focus intently on one particular action. But if you're an entrepreneur, okay, if you're, if you're a writer, if you're a creative type, or even if you're just studying, you need to be able to take a step back and see the bigger picture. It's not just about doing one thing in a really focused manner, it's about doing everything throughout the entire day in a focused manner and being able to switch quickly between tasks and do each task well. That is why I really love MindLab Pro, not because, it's, not because it lacks caffeine, although that is a benefit, but because it gives you the ability to improve your mind, even if it's just for a day, even if you just need to focus intently for a day on various different things, this really does see you through. I guess, yeah, my full review, in layman's terms, it's amazing. I've tried lots of nootropics. I, you know, I used to have a huge box of these empty bottles of nootropics that I've tried. Most of them had caffeine in them, but a lot of them didn't. This is the best nootropic I've tried so far, and I've tried dozens of these things. So this is definitely gonna be my in my main stack. I might use this along with Siltep, um, and of course my, my daily multivitamin will be in my stack as well. That is highly recommended, but 
If you're new to nootropics, this is a very good place to start. A lot of people will, maybe you've seen the film Limitless or something, you know, you, know, you know that you need a mental boost, you know that you want to experiment with something that will increase your brain's capacity to do things, even just short term. Don't mess around with these caffeine-based nootropics. Just go straight to the best. You know, this is not, it's not cheap, but it's also not that expensive considering how much better it is than its competition. So check the link in the description. I think you can order sample packs of like just a handful of these supplements. I might be wrong. I just went straight in and ordered the, um, this is 60 capsules, which they say would last about a month. I think I'll be able to get about two months use out of this because I only use one capsule uh, every day. So Monday to Friday, that's five capsules, times four roughly for a month, 20 capsules. So this, this will last me like three months anyway. Um, of course, you can use their recommended dosage, which happens to be, I think, two to four capsules a day. And they don't actually say anything about cycling this. Unless I've missed it, I can't see anything about, yeah, I can't see anything about cycling this. So they obviously don't seem to have a problem with you guys using this all the time. Obviously, do your own research, see how you feel. I would always say, with any supplement, any, any nootropic that you're going to try, um, you know, do your own research, read reviews. Um, read the ingre about the ingredients and their interactions with maybe some other things you might be taking like if you're on medication or whatever do your own research on these interactions so there's a lot of research you can find online but also I'd always suggest to cycle um, with nootropics especially although this is mainly for, that was mainly for the caffeine tolerance but in general nootropics anything that's going to have have an effect on your cognitive function you really want to make sure that you're careful with this stuff you know, there's a lot of horror stories of people doing this the wrong way, of overdoing it, of using supplements that have not been tested properly with various with various levels of ingredients and dosages that just don't mess around with that stuff. Just really start slowly, read, do the research, start with one capsule a day, cycle it for five days, then two days off, or three weeks, then one week off, and just see how you feel. That's the most important thing. Really try and take a note of the changes that you feel within yourself, within your brain, and within like the way you perform and how it interacts with other things like are you still sleeping as well as you normally would you know are you still do you still have your appetite just try and be really holistic about it and just take note of how it makes you feel in general not just your brain function but everything like your mood your appetite how you're sleeping everything like this i have to say so far this is really good full disclosure i've not been um i've not been paid this is not a sponsorship this is just my honest review I've bought this with my own money, okay? Yeah, so far it's been really good. I've only been using this for one or two weeks, but as this, as I you know, go on using this, I'll be posting another video to update you guys. Um, but this is the first look, okay? So this is a preliminary review, I, I'll admit that. But yeah, so based on my experiences so far, very good. I will make another video in about a month's time and I'll continue to use it for that month as well so that I'll be able to say like, long term, has the, do the effects taper off? you know do they continue does it stay roughly the same so yeah look out for that video that'll be coming in about a month and i'll see you next time and don't forget there's a link in the description if you want to buy these things um you can also i i don't believe they're sold on amazon at the moment um because they didn't want to but it's kind of a weird one they didn't want to be sold next to other supplements because they feel like they're so much better than these than their competitors they didn't want to be associated with them at all that's kind of a bold thing to say especially when there are some fairly good supplements on amazon but yeah, for whatever reason, they're only available to buy on their own website, which you will find a link to in the description. See you next time.